Hey, I'm Jamie Proviance. You know, in the world of grilled vegetables, grilled carrots are relatively unknown, which is probably a bad thing because they're actually really, really good. We think, obviously, of the tender vegetables like zucchini and eggplant, you know, they grill for eight to ten minutes, they're done. People think this is not even a candidate because it's too hard. Well, I've got a simple solution. I'm actually going to blanch the carrots. That means to cook them in some boiling water until they are tender. And then you put them on the grill with a nice glaze. They're absolutely delicious. So here's how it goes. I like to buy the carrots that have the, the tops still attached. They just tend to be sweeter and more flavorful. But you want to remove those prior to grilling. And then you want to peel them. And here's a little tip from cooking school. A lot of people I see when they're peeling carrots will just start on one end and they'll do it like this for a while and then they'll have to turn the whole thing around and do the other and if instead you just hold it at one tip and do one continuous strip, it goes much faster this way. Now your next step is to cook the peeled carrots in a big pot of boiling salted water just until they're a little bit tender. Uh, this is a technique called blanching. It will take somewhere between four to six minutes, depending upon the size of your carrots. And while the carrots are blanching, I want you to make a little buttery glaze out of some butter, some red wine vinegar, some salt and some pepper. And here's a little surprise ingredient, grated nutmeg. Uh, this is going to add a really nice touch to this recipe. It goes particularly well with carrots and gives it a little bit of an Italian flair. So after the carrots are tender, you want to drain them and then rinse them under cold water so they stop cooking. And then use just about half of that glaze to just lightly coat the carrots before they go to the grill. Now the grill is going to be set up for direct high heat. Um, and here I think charcoal is a particularly good idea. I think the flavor of the charcoal really adds something special to these carrots. But you could certainly do it over gas. They work great that way too. Either way, you want to lay the carrots on the cooking grate, obviously perpendicular to the bars so that they don't fall through, and just grill them until you see these really nice grill marks or stripes. To me, they kind of look like tiger stripes. This is going to take somewhere between three to five minutes, and you're just going to turn them every minute or so. And now just get the carrots off the grill onto a platter and use some of that remaining glaze, just drizzle it over the top of the carrots. There's so much flavor in that glaze. And if you want, you can garnish them with some, you know, finely chopped fresh herbs like parsley and serve them up. You know, there you have it. The, these are the new stars of the grilled vegetable world, grilled carrots with a buttery glaze. Give them a try.